everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a junk bag haul. The very long awaited junk bag haul is finally here. I have so many. So uh, these are at thrift stores and you might know them as like, I don't know, grab bags or where I used to work at my grandma's thrift store, we called them junk bags. It's kind of just like a miscellaneous compilation of related things. Sometimes they're related, yep. sometimes they're not. Yeah. Uh, I get a lot of plush, a lot of ephemera, scrapbooking stuff, vintage relics. <laughs> I don't know, but we make a lot of money off of these. Yeah, we do. So, yeah, so we're going to go through and tell you how much we pay for them and show you what we got. All right, let's go. So, what I do to account for the cost of goods, because I don't know what's in these things and I don't always list everything. In fact, I list maybe half of it and donate the rest back on an average day. So what I do is I take the tags off and I add them all up. And then I divide the number of goods that I'm listing by the total. So this was $4.99 and we went on half off day. So I'm going to have my trusty assistant Dan here write Hello. half off on this. Okay. So that we know and we'll add it all up at the end. And I'm going to show you guys what's in here. Oh man. Okay, I'm going to tell you why I bought the bag too. I think that's really important. All right. So I bought this bag because... Dan's going to be the best assistant of all time. Today. Yes, I am. Because of these freaking stickers. These are perfect print reward stickers. What? Oh my gosh, you guys. These are the ones we got in grade school. Get out of here. No, they are. Look. Okay. Look at them. Remember these stickers? Oh my God. Don't you remember them? Yeah, totally. I was taken back. I'm like, I know these stickers. Are those brand new? I think they might be brand new. Wow. So I don't know how much you, look, I remember this one. This one was my favorite one when I got <laughs> the beautiful sunshine rainbow one. I love it so wow. much. So I don't know if these are worth any money, okay? But I will put comps on the screen as I list these things so you guys will know. Okay. So I'm going to put stuff I want to list in a box here. And then I'm going to give Dan this bag for stuff that I probably maybe don't want to list. Oh. I do go through that, you know, the reject bag. We donate it back, but I do go through it a second time just to make sure. Because you never know what could be hiding. And then I lock things up out of that bag, too. Oh, another one! Oh, oh this was a bonus. Kid craft stickers. Desktop dispenser. Those are pretty sweet, too. Sorry, I'm trying to make this look nice. Oh, there we go. We got a little zoom. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to definitely look those up. Okay, there's a ton of pipe clean. This is like arts and crafts bag and you know you can get these at the dollar tree so i'm not sure that i'm going to do anything with these pipe cleaners yeah um but let's just see what else is in here silly stickers see these are from target so these are more modern i'm not as interested right but you know again i do go through the reject and i make lots out of things so i could make arts and crafts junk lot and those sell on ebay too this is like a little diary oh my god i remember these Get out of town. <laughs> the frosty phones. Yeah, show them the little snowflake stickers. All right, check those out. So we got a ton of these, like, you know, little dots. So if we ever do a yard sale, those will be helpful. Uh, tons of this stuff that's not worth probably much. But that's fine. I hope those 80 stickers are worth it. Uh, I will probably... If these aren't from the dollar spot, I will probably have a bunch of these. They're just sticker sheets, but they have a barcode, so I'll probably list them. Yeah, why not? Because it's quick. And sometimes these scrapbook things can be really good. Okay, I'm going to keep going. So these aren't, like, the top of the heap, you know? I got the thing I wanted out of it. And then I'll go through and lock this stuff up as an arts and crafts junk lot. And we'll make some money on it. Okay. On the same thing, these are all scrapbooking things. This was half off two. Okay. So that was four ninety nine. So for this big bag of scrapbooking, I paid two fifty. I have two scrapbooking lots. Stay, stay with us though, because some of this stuff is really quite good. Okay, these are metal stickers, and there's tons of them. Nice. So I will make little. There's this bag is full of these Christmas uh, ephemera packs, and they all have um. Look at this stuff. They all have barcodes. So I will make identical packs and then list the crap out of them. <laughs> and then next holiday season, they will sell. 
I sell this stuff all the time. This is the kind of stuff that we love because it's little. Mm -hmm. It takes up virtually no space in our inventory, and it has barcodes. Yep. So. <clears throat> I think this stuff is from the dollar spot at Target, but that's okay. Once you put it all together, it. I'm telling you, it yeah. will be total two fifty for all this. We'll make a ton of money. Um, the stuff that I'm looking for is the more vintage stuff. Uh, these recollections things, if you can find these, these 3D uh, scrapbooking things are quite good. Especially if okay. they're discontinued. Right. You can make a couple bucks on each one if people are trying to make their scrapbook pages. I know Lizzie sells a lot of scrapbooking things and I do too. I call this stuff junk, but it's it's just not junk at all. It's actually, you know, quite good. So this will be another arts and crafts, but this stuff will be more Christmassy. So I'm going to leave it in the bag so that I can form lots together even these these even if they're not new in the package you can still put it together for scrapbookers these metal stickers are great okay you're looking for something special? i'm looking for stickopotamus <laughs> what? i'm sorry what did you just yes, say yes this is an 80s brand of stickers okay. and they can go for a lot that's crazy yeah uh, i'm always looking for stickopotamus <laughs> Okay. These are a little more modern, but these are still going to make great, great lots when I, you know, I have to get into my desk and spread it all out and separate them all, but it's just a multi-quantity listing. I make sure everyone has one of each thing. Same with this last thing. I'm just going to finish out the scrapbooking stuff. So this one was $3.99 half off, so $2 for this whole thing. I bought it because they're these uh, 3D, like little roses. There's a bunch of these 3D things. And they can do well. Okay. Uh, I just dropped a bunch of stuff. Nice, I got Fine. you. I thank got you, me. thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is more of the same. More scrapbooking. Somebody just gave up their whole... Somebody was just done. Yeah, their whole <laughs> scrapbooking collection. And I was here for it. I'm like, yes, ma'am. I will take it. Uh... So these are more springtime theme things. So I'll make like a springtime or wedding theme. There's just, there's just so many. But again, if you can find stickopotamus, I know that sounds crazy, but they're from the eighties. This might be it. It is. Get out of here. I swear. Okay. So this is the brand stickopotamus and people collect this stuff. Hold on, let me, let me try to, I got some light issues, so I'm going to try to, you got this. I'm going to try to zoom you're in professional. here. That's the brand you're looking for, one of them. There's a couple of brands that are pretty good like that. There it is. Stickopotamus. You can file that away under words you would, ne I never thought I would ever <laughs> say in my life. Yeah, I prefer picking up the vintage, oh, and Sandy Lion. Sorry, here we go, here's another one. If you can find these sandy lions like new in the package, they do quite well as well. As well. Okay. Sandy lion and stickopotamus, in my experience, are two of the the more known brands. It doesn't look like I have any sandy lions new in the package in here, but I still think I can sell what we do have. Awesome. Okay, cool. So this is all gonna go back in here, and then I will go through this later. This is all flower themed. I don't. I don't know if the thrift store did this or like, you know what I mean? Yeah. The person did this, I'm not sure. Okay, onto the toys. Uh oh, your favorite. Our favorite part. Okay, this one was $4.99 half price. The tag already fell off. All right, you guys, these dinosaurs, you gotta check them. Yeah, you saw something. Woo, there was one in the Bolo today. Buddies group that sold for like $600. This one is not that, but I always check them. This is a minion, so I'm gonna, no, no. All right, I bought this bag because of these little people. <laughs> these are the chubbies. Okay. You're I don't good. know much else about them. And you have to be careful with these junk bags of, um, oh, what was that guy just went flying? You have to be careful about these junk bags because a lot of this stuff, the toys that are in Happy Meals these days, they can, they can confuse you. They, they're, the Happy Meal toys are pretty advanced. <laughs> and you won't notice that it's a Happy Meal toy. Yeah, so I'm looking for any kind of branding on these dinosaurs because they can... So, so far, there's three little people in here. I hope you can see what's going on. Can they see? Oh, my gosh. 
gosh, this is a minion. See, this is McDonald's. This says, uh, there's no brand that I can see, but it says Velociraptor. Okay. 1999. So, um, <laughs> McDonald's toys can sell, resell. I don't bother with them, though, for the most part. I did list some one time. Remember that goofy one I listed? Yeah. Can you tell me if they can see what's happening down here? <clears throat> uh, well, when you're showing them to the camera, they can see. Okay, well, I just want to see them. Can you, okay. You want me to... No, I'll, sh I'll show you guys in a second. I'm pulling out all these little people. Okay. These are the vintage, vintage, vintage ones, and that's why I bought them. Here's another one of these Donald Ducks. So I went the first day, and then I went a week later and found all this guy's little friends. <laughs> there's a lot of weird, like, motor... There's a motorcycle in here, which I'm just not... What is this, Dan? Um, I don't know. Mattel. This is worth Google Lensing because it's very heavy. Yeah. So we'll Google Lens that. Oh, Bumble Ball some, Jr. Some viewers are going to know what this is. I think I'm too old for this. Yeah, but we can Google Lens it. That's the beauty. 2001 Mattel. Okay, so this junk bag costs $2.50. I think these are all Happy Meal toys in here. And out of it, these are the rejects. Out of it, we've got this little person. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my God. This little sailor. Okay. Oh. Sailor. Sailor. Okay. This little cowboy. Oh, man. <laughs> Policeman. Okay. I don't know, little guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at her little bun. Mm. Nice. Look at her little pigtails. One other little guy. And fireman. Nice. Uh, so I think these do well. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not an expert. Rebel would be the expert here. But, um, I got you. I'm gonna put them yeah, in the keeper box. So <laughs> that's why I'm gonna look the, and then I'm gonna look this guy up. So I'll leave a comp if uh, if he's good. But 2001, that's vintage now. Oh my god, I can't. You heard? <laughs> okay. So this one, oh, I bought this for myself. Let's see if there's anything good in here. So I bought this for 1.99. Is that a like a pencil kit? Yeah, it's an art kit. <laughs> I bought it for myself. <laughs> And then at the end of this video, I'm going to list everything and I'm going to put the cost of goods for you. So I bought this for myself for $2. Very Prisma very color. Nice. You know, I will scan it, but this, these things are at Michael's and stuff all the time. Yeah. Uh, and I also got this for Dan. These are CD and DVD mailers, so that oh. might be helpful Okay. Yeah. for our business. Yep. This is just like a little notepad. There's some glasses in here. You know, if the glasses, like, have a brand, sometimes they can do well. These are just, like, regular readers. Oriental trading. I don't really look these up. Oh, these are a bunch, there's a bunch of glasses. These are just readers, but look, these are new with tag. I'll, okay. I'll eye guard. I'll definitely I'll sell them. Right. Got a couple pair. Uh-oh. Oh, we got the purple ones. I'll lock <laughs> these up because they're the same strength. Yeah. I've never sold readers before, but you don't need a prescription. So, maybe, hey, these are cool. Uh oh, they kind of go with what you're wearing. I'm not gonna put these on my face, but I kind of want to. These oh, are like costume yeah. glasses. Can you put those with those costume <laughs> glasses? I've got a little stash of those. Oh, we've got a three fur, ladies uh -oh. and gentlemen. There's a three fur. Somebody wants these eye guard readers bad. Yes. And then there's this. <laughs> There's no money in it. I'm sorry. That's that's upsetting. It is upsetting. Okay, so these are going to get... See, this one too, but they, we don't have the case. So I'm not going to... All right. There we go. Nice. Now we got some plush. Uh-oh. So this bags. one was $2.99. I think this was full price. Okay. So $3. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, better be good. Big spender, big spender, no whammies. Oh, I know. Stop. All right. I got this one because there was a ton of Paw Patrol in here, and I think they're having a moment. I'm not sure. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Although we do sell Paw Patrol, so that's what I know. I've never seen the show, but this is one of them. <laughs> this is the red one. One of them's Chase. I know that. It's more than I know. And then this one, the little green one. Okay. All right. You got like the whole gang in there. I don't. I don't know what the gang is, but I got this little Forest Ranger one. Peely, if you're watching this, this is you. Oh my God! It's totally Peely. <laughs> okay. This one's Ty, and these ones are not. 
Okay, one of these things is not like the other. I have no idea. Okay. Which this is there? OG Dolls Collection. This is... No, nah, it's looking yeah. good. This is Mandy Beanie Boo. I definitely will look this up. These Beanie Boos can be hit or miss, but I will definitely look it up. <laughs> and here's the other, the yellow one. Okay. Oh, this is high. Are, so this these. is rubble. Rubble. We've sold rubble before. Yeah. Um, oh, look at this guy. Mm -hmm. Mini Matsu. This is like a Beanie Boo knockoff. Don't think I won't look it up because it will. This is... Um, Valentine's Day Snoopy? He, I am... T I'm not going to touch that. There's some... Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, Minecraft. We will definitely look this up. We sell the crap out of Minecraft. Who knows? <laughs> Let you know in the comps. All right. Let's all keep her stuff. Yeah. yeah. Let's all look it up. Look it up. Not necessarily keep it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Moving on to the next one. This one's ditch that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're back into the hard toys. Be careful with these bags. These are the ones that are probably Happy Meal toys, but... Okay. So you see the tag on this, $2.99. I got this at a different store. This was on our... Um, trip to Austin. I got this at the Austin Savers for $2.99. But there's a reason I got this. Always a reason. I never pick up a junk bag without a reason. I'm gonna sit down. I'm very <laughs> hot right now. Okay. The reason, so if you're my age, we're called the Oregon Trail generation, like late 30s or early 40s. Do you guys remember these? Let me get in there. Oh, look at him. Do you wow. remember these? These are tiny tunes. Oh, man. So I have no idea if these are worth money, but if you're like me and you remember these and you forgot it existed and you're like, oh my gosh, tiny tunes, then maybe, you know, there's some nostalgia there. And here's the other one. Now oh, you remember, yes. don't you? Hold on. Amazing. Yeah, so I have the three pack of these. I have no idea. I think these were Happy Meal toys. I have no idea, but I forgot this show existed. I totally remember Tiny Toons. Look at this. So if you roll it, it the records spin, and <laughs> it does things, okay? So that's why I bought this. Now let's see what else is in here. Fisher Price. I will definitely look this up. Yep. Because it's name brand. I have no idea. Now these are the things you got to be careful of. That looks like a wacky bobblehead for, what is it? Yeah, this. I think this is McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. So this okay. is like Scooby-Doo. It's from a resort. This is... Sometimes Shady. if you have like the whole set, but most of the times when I find McDonald's, people have them in the bag still yep. for sale. And so yep. I'm like, I'm not going to sell these. She keeps face planting. <laughs> this is a lion. This is VTech. This might be something. Oh, here's his head. Some... I don't I don't really know what I'm doing. But VTech can be good. Like these all are VTech. So there's like, this is gonna be a Dan pile, like it goes with like video games or something. Or it goes with a system or a gamer. Yeah. I don't I don't, I don't know if those go together. But... I've noticed and here's the last tiny tunes. Oh. Remember this guy? Oh <laughs> let me oh oh, sorry about that. And this way, just a little, there you go. Look at head. I remember him. Yeah. So I'm super stoked to look these up. I'll let you know in the comps to see if, you know, this is like a four pack. If this is worth anything. So I'm going to look those up. Okay. I'm going to put I these in a bag for you to look up. Okay. Because sometimes the VTech can be, yeah, even as be. replacement pieces, sometimes it won't work without all of them. Yeah. So this is going to go to your pile. Great. Thank you. And then I'm going to look this guy up. Okay. All right. All right, this one is an example. This was 95 cents, half off, so 45 cents. And if I'm honest, this is my favorite type of bag to pick up because it's got multiples in it and it's vintage. Uh-oh. So I saw this, and I know you can't really see that until I open it up. Oh, all those buttons? Yeah. I don't like the way that feels out. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Earplug. Oh, Okay. There's some nasties. These. Oh, wow. Save the Earth. Here, let me zoom in. Look at those. Those are, 
Those are legit. There are tons of them in here. Okay. And they are vintage, you know, because look at the pin bags. Wow. That's how you know this thing that comes off the top, that means it's very, very vintage. These are probably from the 70s. Can you imagine? They don't make this anymore because no. you could stab yourself. You stab yourself instantly. With uh, that. And there's a ton of them here. This is what we love because I'll probably list these for $3 or $4. I don't know what they're worth. But even with shipping, like $3.99 shipping, and I'll just sell them for the rest of my life. <laughs> There's also a 2012 Disney World magnet in here, which I'll also sell because okay, sure. I'm not scared. Um, there's some actual junk in here, like, but that's okay. So I'm <laughs> Look at what those bracelets say. Yes. I don't that's understand. That's hilarious. What does this mean? <laughs> I don't want to know. Do I not want to know? I don't know. One, two. Oh. 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 Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. 39, 40. <laughs> 42, 43, 44, 45, 46 of these things for 45 cents. So they were a penny each. Yes. And we will use these for conversions. I will find out what they're worth and we will sell the crap out of them. We do this a lot. Show them those um, birthday banners that we sell the crap out of that I got in bulk. Oh, these Care Bear ones? Yeah. yeah. So I got a ton of these in a junk bag. I mean like 50 of them. And we sell like one every couple weeks. We just sold one yesterday. We did, yep. So these are the kind of things I love to find. Vintage. Okay, so these two Disney magnets I will definitely look up and sell. Because they are from the Disney park. And then the junk goes back into the reject pile for now. Hey, this one was four ninety nine. This was a regular price. Okay. Okay, I got this one because it had more little people in it. All of the little people. Oh, cowboy. Oh my god. So we have two of those. Quantity two. Oh, he looked like a little artist or something. Mm -hmm. This is more no name dinosaurs. We'll get to this in a second. Oh, nice! Did you score? Yeah, this is great. This is a Build-A-Bear uh, Hawaiian shirt. Okay. Can you see it in the thing? Yeah. And it's new as heck. Why From it Frozen. Frozen. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Something about Frozen. Cool. Ol Olaf shirt and hat. Well, oh, there, I don't have the there hat. There you go. Let's see if we have the hat. Anyway, this is great. Sweet. Totally will list that. It'll pay for the whole bag. Okay, more of these minions. You start to, once you buy enough of these bags, you start to know what a Happy Meal toy is. Hey, girl. Uh-oh. Is this Bratz or what? <laughs> she looks like Bratz, right? Yeah, kind of. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Y'all, we'll know. Why is she, what? She gotta be Bratz. She's wearing no shirt. <laughs> All right. She has no feet. Okay. Well, maybe they're in the bag. Uh, so what? what's gonna happen is these dinosaurs, hey, what's that say? Yeah, it. Um. I'll end up lotting them up, even if they're not a good brand. These are all the same. I mean, they're... 2008. They all they all say 1999, made in China. This one says Stegosaurus, and there's some kind of mark next to 1999. Well, this says 2008, this guy. Okay. Anyway, I'll lot all these dinosaurs up. I won't not sell them. I'm going to sell them. They will sell. I'll dig the other two out of the... the okay, so if I were a little person, which I am a little person... <laughs> This is me. Yes. Look at this high ponytail. Oh my god. Yes, totally. ma'am. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. Love it. This is like Littlest Pet Shop keychain. I will look this up though, because you just never know. That's true. Okay, these are the more modern look. Oh, look at this Hawaiian. Hello, girl. Aloha. Mm. These are the more modern little people, and these we sell these individually. And they do sell for like 12 bucks. It's crazy. What? Are you serious? Yes, we are we selling them? Okay, here's some kind of train. This feels very lightweight. I'm not really going to spend my time. And I don't really spend my time with uh, matchbox, uh, Hot Wheels or Matchbox unless they feel heavy and vintage. 
I just don't. Sorry. Just don't, well, we don't. We know nothing about them. It, it's not my wheelhouse, and like, who wants this Ford F one fifty? Like, you can probably, you know, what I mean, if it's a car, we have sold some before. If they're like, you know, those Tootsie Roll ones, we had yeah. some novelty ones that we sold, but these are off brand. They're not even. They're like some TV show ones, like Batmobile. And, yeah. Like, Mach 5 if and they're stuff. like that, otherwise, it just kind of like this is a Corvette. Uh, if I'm, so I have a big bin of this stuff under my desk. I don't donate it right away. I just keep adding to it. And then one day, you know, mid Q2, I'll go through the whole thing and be like, I'll match things up from various junk bags and make lots to sell. But it, the money just isn't that great doing this. Okay. So these little bear, bear what are these called? What do I say? Barrington? Boy, Boyd's Bears. Boyd's. Okay. These little ones can be quite good. So we don't buy Boyd's Bears very much, but oh. the little ones, look at this guy. What does he say, feel better? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and he's got his tag, so nice. that's good. Okay. Uh, we might do okay with these. I bought another bag of these as well. So I have like the whole collection. Sweet. Okay, we're into some more plush. Oh, I gotta put these into my, should I look this girl up? I'll look her up. Uh, even with the no feet? No feet, it's fine. It's kinda weird. There's a buyer for everything. Uh, two ninety nine half price. So this is one fifty for this. I bought this because there are lovies in here. A uh -oh. lovey is a plush that's attached to a blanket. This is Aiden and Anais or nice. Anais. Good this brand. is one of my Let favorite me zoom brands. In on that a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep doing that, guys. There it is. Okay. Okay. This thing I'm gonna soak in Retro Clean. It is thrash. Yeah, needs a little. This is so new to yeah. stitch. But that's okay. These go, we've sold them for $30, $40, and $50 before. Yep. Yep. It's a good brand. And even though it's kind of like messed up, it might be okay because if a parent is trying to sneakily replace their kids, <laughs> it can't look too new. Right, right. Okay, but I will. There's another one in here as oh, well. Oh, score. This is my favorite brand. I also bought a blanket today at the bins. That's this. So we have two of these. I've been finding duplicates at the Bring thrift. Them a little closer. Nice, perfect. Thank you. I've been you. finding duplicates very often, like twins, or if they're, I don't know why, but I just yeah. keep finding duplicates. So I will soak both of these because they're going to babies. I want to make sure I will clean them through. <gasps> what in no the. No, you idea. put your finger in there. Oh, I ain't doing that. I ain't putting my finger in there. For <laughs> babies, where I look, there's a finger. Nope. I have to know what it does, though. I think the eyes move back and forth. Oh, God. okay. I don't want to look at that. <laughs> okay. Oh, we'll get this guy listed for Easter. This is Animal Adventure. Look at this. Oh, that's so cute. I'll get him listed today. Aurora. We've sold this. We've sold this exact cat. Yep. Aurora. This cat has a name. I'll just look okay. at our solds and sell similar. Yes. Oh, man. More lovies. I saw this bag and I'm like, I'm getting it. This is Itty Bitty and Pretty. This is a good brand. It's lovey as well. Uh, come down a little bit. Thank you. Uh, again, I'm sorry for the flashing. Thank you. Okay, I will wash all of those. Spice Rex. Spice Rex. <laughs> this looks like it is, um, you know, promo merch. Sometimes that promo merch can be really valuable. I know. I'm going to look this guy up. We, we valuable promo merch that Radio Shack. We just sold a Radio Shack water bottle for yeah. seventy dollars. Yeah. What? Mm. Okay. This is a little. This is Oriental Trading, so I'm not gonna look that up. That's, oh, you missed. Okay. A nut. This is a Taggies. Oh, it's so dirty. Oh. So Taggies have tags right. all over them, but there's also knockoffs. So make sure it's an actual Taggies. I do need to soak this. It's gross. That's but look, nasty. there's the um, logo. Let me get in there. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay, great. This is probably the most fruitful bag yet, don't you think, as far as money? Yeah. Although those little people might... Oh, we love selling these. Oh, is that an Itty Bitty Boo? This is Itty Bitty Boo Unicorn. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know who we are right now. We are Gen Xers talking about Itty Bitty Boos. We have a full-size boo sitting over there. I know. We love selling these. This one's kind of thrash, but I'm still going to look it up. Yep. And then this is a rip-off of something. This is a cheap. So, I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay, this this is a good bag. I think almost everything in here is sellable except for that crazy eyes thing. That's not happening. 
I mean, it could be. You never know. I'm not putting my finger in it. Okay, <laughs> here we go. This is from Austin. Okay. If so you're new here, we price. live in Dallas, and we went on a little road trip to Austin. So I got this bag because I thought this was, he looked like Littlefoot. With the purple one? Yeah. Hmm. I have no idea who this is, but dang if he does not look like Littlefoot, even though Littlefoot's not purple. Look at his face. Yeah. So I was like, this got to be Land Before Time. Universal Studios, 2007. Okay. This has got to be a Land Before Time dinosaur. Got to like be. Like maybe the sec, you know, Land Before Time 2, two or something. They had some, some sequels. Okay. I love. Very cute. Land Before Time. <laughs> Unhealthy obsession. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, this is Make Believe Ideas from 2021. So this is brand spanking new. I don't know. I, I have no idea either. I'll look it up. I will say that the junk bags in Austin were not as great as our Dallas. This is another one of those weird. I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna look up these dinosaurs and let you know. Hey. Oh man! Oh man! Hard toys. This one was six ninety nine half price. Six ninety nine is like the most I'll ever spend. <laughs> On a bit because you don't know what you're getting, right? Right. This one was a big gamble because I knew nothing about the stuff in this, but I will tell you why I got it. I don't normally buy Barbies because look at their hair. What do I do with this? I don't know. <laughs> I got it because these were little people cars oh, and they're nice. themed. Oh, is that Cinderella? Yes, they're all themed, okay? okay? I think these might be really good. So again, I don't comp these things in sort. Look, this one is Beauty and the Beast. Oh man, get out of here. Yeah, so I think oh, the cars. The I know, but I don't have thing. the little people. I have to go with them. I know, that's why I was at the store today looking. <laughs> I just have to keep going back. Oh, I have Jasmine! Oh yeah. Where's Jasmine's little get up? Watch, I won't have Jasmine's house. It's in another bag. I know. Okay, so this little people is. This must be like. Um, who is this? I don't know. So all of these go together. It's like a little parade of princesses or something. You know, I'll look this up and then I'll figure out how it works. This one is Little Mermaid. Look, there's Sebastian up here. I mean, um, what his name is? Flounder. Flounder. But I only have the Jasmine little person. Oh, I feel like going back to the thrift right now. <laughs> I've been known to go back day after yep. day after day and mm -hmm. get... And this one... This looks like Cinderella because of the, you know, the birds. Oh, the birds, yeah. So anyway, I think these might be really good. That's just my instinct. This is a Shopkins watch. I think I've, I have another one of these to list. Okay. And then these are Tokidoki, which we do well with. I've never seen a... Me either. We sell plush of this. What is happening with that thing? It's got bananas and monkeys and stuff on it. Yeah. I don't... And then this one is milk. Man, kids' toys are so weird. They're so weird, but we this is called Toki Doki, this style of Unicorn. Unicorn thing. Okay, <laughs> this Barbie gotta go. I don't know what to do with her. Yeah. But isn't this a great one? That's Hopefully. Awesome. Yeah. I hope this is great. And if it you know, if I need oh look, this is Cinderella as well. So maybe this one isn't Cinderella. Maybe this one's sleeping. I don't know. But I'll look it up and let you know in the comps, and then hopefully they're worth a lot of money. And if it means that we have to buy the little people separate and lot them up, we've done that before. Yep. Not with little people, but like with board games, we've bought replacements. And then maybe I'll sell this Jasmine on her own. I don't know. I'm so excited. <laughs> I get so excited. Watch one of these Tokidokis be worth like 50 bucks. That'd be sweet. Some of these are worth a lot. Not, not these, but the plush we've gotten before have been worth a lot. Okay. And I didn't even see those in the bag, so that's exciting. Did they sell us this? What? They sold us this. Yeah. It had no tag on it. Yeah. Because she knows us. We're, you know, we, we got the cashier that knows us. I have no idea how much this cost. She may have just given it to us. But I really wanted this bag for like three weeks now. Oh, uh, build bear clothes. It's build bear clothes. Oh, uh, and those are like Sherpa boots. Those are probably really good. Build bear <laughs> clothes can go for a lot. And so it's like the whole, look at this oh little hat. Oh my god. Oh, you gotta be kidding. And then his little boot, the little Sherpa. Whoa. Got a little set here. <laughs> okay, so that, these may have been three. I, and there's no price. So normally they, I meant to have Dan give it to her to be like, can you put a price on this? Because I've been trying to buy it for two weeks. Um, so here's some clothes. And again, once I look these up, I'll know what I'm working with. This is a little skirt. 
Now, I don't recommend buying Build-A-Bears. There are some Bolos, but I just, oh, see, this goes with this. This is an outfit. It's gotta be. That was a cute little oh situation. Uh, but I do recommend buying the clothes if you see them. Just not the bears. Diva. We've been known to buy a clothed bear just for the clothes. And at the bins, I just take the clothes straight <laughs> off. Here's some boxing shorts, okay? Okay. We got a little, we got some saddle shoes. Nice. Oh my gosh, look at this little purse. Oh man. Dead. Dead, I tell you. And it goes with this little skirt. <laughs> And this top, oh, I gotta get that. Just look at that. Wow. I gotta get that stain out. And then one sad flip flop. You got one flip flop, oh man. I'll still try to sell it. <laughs> Don't think I won't, because somebody has the other one, and I have this one of these shoes too. But anyway, hopefully this stuff does well, especially if we got it for free. It's even better. Look at the box is getting full. It is. Go, I can list this stuff so fast, which is why I get it, because it is. You know what I mean? It's so fast and the stuff sells yep. very quickly. So these are like rejects. Okay, this last one is these Boyd's Bears or whatever they are. Yeah, Boyd's Bears. And they all have their tags on them. So this was $4.99 full price. This is... Um, This is CJ Cherry Berry. Well, okay then. Oh, cherries. Oh, hey, guy. Look how cute. I think the best Boyd's thing we ever had was... Catsworth. Catsworth. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. <laughs> this is raspberries from Boyd's. Don't these make my butt look big? Stop it. He's holding his butt. <laughs> stop. Okay, stop. No, no, no. Can they see this? Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> This actually uh, might be good. Hilarious. Okay, and then I don't normally pick up Boyd's, you know, like especially this. This doesn't have any tag or anything. Yeah, it's just a joint. It's kind of a whatever. dud. Yeah. yeah. But this one look love. This one says love. That's cute. The little ones are okay. The big ones. Mm. Oh, look at this little overalls. He doesn't have a this lady doesn't have a tag, but little pumpkin one. She got a little is that a hat? It's like a little bow. A little bow. <laughs> Okay. All right. So that, I'm pretty happy with everything. I will let you know the average cost of goods and, you know, maybe I'll kind of add up what I think all this is going to sell for. I think yeah. that would be helpful to know going into this. Now, if you're getting into these mystery bags, this is, these are the tips. Hot tips. Hot tips. Make sure there's at least one thing in the bag that you think you can make money on. At least one. Uh, or that you're very interested in for nostalgic reasons. That means other people would be too, okay? Uh, definitely, definitely make sure you're not buying bags of Happy Meal toys. Right. I've done that. <laughs> it's easy to do. The Happy Meal toys light up. They have sounds. Like when we were kids, Happy Meal toys was like static, right? Mm -hmm. It was like... Cheap. Mm -mm -mm. Plastic. <laughs> right. Now right. they look like... Real trust, toys. They look like real toys and they operate. They do things. They move... On their own. Anyway, so just really look at Sonic, McDonald's, and Burger King in Wendy's. You can They say it on the bottom. So if you can look on the bottom and just get really familiar with what Happy Meal toys look like, they're not very valuable. There are some bolos out there, but like not worth right. wading through junk bags. Yeah. It's just not worth your time. So I would make sure that. I would also make sure that you're not paying too much for them because sometimes they're duds. But I think it's a really fun and easy way to get a lot of listings up, to do some research, and get used to using Google Lens, get used to... the. If I were just starting on eBay, I would do a junk bag. Because you can sell similar, most of the time you can just Google Lens it, open up someone's eBay and put sell similar. And you can make some money and convert, because a lot of these things in these little bags are cheap enough that people can buy them and they don't sit in your store forever. Cool. I'd say maybe 20% of what we sell is from these bags. <clears throat> I just like to get them, but I also, we make a lot of money off of them. We do a segment at the end of the month called Junk of the Month, where we go through all the sales of the junk. I haven't done that in a while. Gotta We're going to do it. We're going to bring it back. Yeah. So I'm going to sit here and list all these and put the comps up for you before this video goes out. I hope it's helpful. Sweet.
give us a thumbs up. Yes. And subscribe. Yes. We'll Thanks for hanging. Later. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.